friends, I am Rajani Chandran. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to study about some particular topics in projection of lines. We all know that uh, projection of lines have uh, two parts. One is the rotating line method and the second one is the trapezoidal method. And uh, around uh, 10 videos are available in this channel from the topic rotating line method and trapezoidal method. In the projection of lines, some particular topics are there where the traces are given in this question and from that we have to draw or we have to obtain the projections of lines. So in this particular video we are going to study about the problems with the given traces, with the given location of traces and from that we are going to project or we are going to study how to project a line with the given traces. The problem you can see in your screen right now. So you can write the projector drawn to horizontal trace and vertical trace are at a distance of 80 and those drawn to the end points of A B are at a distance of 50. Then it is given that uh, horizontal trace is 30 mm. The horizontal trace is 30 mm behind in P and the vertical trace is 40 mm below it. The end A of the line is 20 mm below it. This is the problem. So what we have to know is whenever the projections or projectors drawn through the traces are given, we have to start from that point. So in this question it is given that uh, the projector through horizontal trace and the vertical trace is at a distance of uh, 80. So, what will be the other data given in this question? We have to start solving this problem from this point. That means the distance between the projectors of horizontal trace and the vertical trace. So, it is given that way. So, we can draw the x line. We can draw a line like this. Another projector like this. So, this is the projector through horizontal trace and this is the projector through vertical trace. And this distance is at a so, this is the projector through horizontal trace and this is the projector through vertical trace. We know that uh, horizontal trace means it is a point on its So, the front view always will be on x y We have learned that. So, S t dash will always lie on the x y line as well as V t will always lie on the x y line. Why? Horizontal trace is a point on its a point on HP means its front view will always lie on the XY line. That means HT dash will be on the XY line. Vertical trace means a point on VP. That means the top view will always lie on the XY. That means VT will always lie on the XY. So this is the first step of problems with the given traces. Now it is known that dash, V dash, HT dash, VT dash will always lie on the side spine. Similarly, A, B, H, T, V, T will always lie at the same time. That we have learned in the trapezoidal method. Now, we have used this value. And it is given that the horizontal trace is 30 mm. Horizontal trace is, sorry, horizontal trace is 30 behind. So, 30 behind means, will be here. Then, vertical trace is 40 below. So, if this is 40 means, this will be. Now we can connect this. We can also connect. This is AD dash. We can also connect this. See, this is HT and VT. So we know that A, B, H, T, V, T will always lie on the same line. So this is HT, V, T. So A and B will be on this line or the extension of this line. Similarly, A dash, B dash will always lie on this line or the extension of this line because that is our rule. A dash, B dash, V dash, H dash is always the same. So we have used this two data. Now one more data is available. That is, the point A is 20 mm below its P. The point A is 20 mm below its P. That means A dash is 20 mm below the X y. How can we locate? We know that we have collector like this, so we have a line like this that will contain our A dash and it is given that the A dash is at a distance of 20 mm below. So, from the x y line, at a distance of 20, we can draw a line like this. And that 
time will intersect this h t dash v t dash at some point. So that will be our a dash. That should be our a dash because it is given that the i is continuous. So we have obtained our a dash. Now we know that a dash and a will lie on the same plane. So we can draw a projector through the points that will intersect this h t v t here. So that will be our a. Now once you obtain the projector through a. It is given that the projector through A and B is at a distance of 50. So, at a distance of 50, we can draw another line that will contain the endpoints B dash and B. Now, we know that we can extend this line also so that meet here. While extending this line, it will meet here. So, this point should be our B and this short point should be our I hope all of you have understood this much. So, I have already told the very first thing that you have to do when the projector through prices are given means you have to draw through projectors at a distance of VT. One will be the projector through ST and the other will be the projector through VT. So, that we have done. That is the first step. Now, it is given that the position of ST. Now, we know that ST dash will always lie in the XY line and VT will always lie on the XY line. So, we can mark H T dash as well as V T that we have completed. Now, we can locate H T and V T. H T is given that 30 above. Sorry, 30 behind. V T is given 40 below. That also we have marked. Point A is 20 below. We know that H T dash, V T dash, A dash, V dash will always lie at the same line. H T, A, B, V T always lie at the same line. So, at a distance of 20 from the XY line, you can draw a line like this because it is going to be 20 below. That line will intersect with this. So, that point will be our A dash. Draw a projector. We have obtained a at a distance of 50. We can draw another projector like this. So, on extending this, you will get a B and B dash. See, this distance 50, while you are drawing, you will get that is this while uh, measuring the distance of 50, that 50 will go beyond this projector. That is why I also draw like this. When you are drawing, if you are drawing this question in your sheet by measuring, you will also get the image or figure like this. Now you all know that uh, we have a b and a dash b dash. Now you can complete with the trapezoidal plan. What will be the method? Take the distance between x, y and a, draw a perpendicular. That is our way. Take the distance between x, y and b dash, draw a perpendicular. So this is our true length. Now, take the distance between x, y and a, draw a perpendicular from here. That is our gap. Draw the distance between x, y and b. See, this is the distance and we know that this is lying in the opposite direction. So from here also we have to draw in the opposite direction. That is our b2. Now, you know that eh? this is angle between the true length and the a dash v dash that is our phi. So, this will be our vertical rise. Now, this is angle between a b and the corresponding true length. So, that will be our. So, this is the method of projection of lines with the given position of a Prices. I hope all of you have understood. In the next problem or in the next video, we can do another problem of the same topic with the slight modification of the available data.